Hey guys, Rick for Solens here, back in our video. In this video, we're gonna show you how to make a Daghouse drop like Martin E. King. So, the final result we're making will sound like this. So, if you're on these presets, by the way, make sure to like dirty tag for one. In a preset pack, you'll find all the presets you need to make this kind of style of tag house. So, first, we're gonna dive into the leads, sounding like this. And then we're gonna make and then we're gonna make a bass line. Let's dive into it. So now we're gonna dive into the leads. So we're gonna make it from scratch, like in the presets. Go with basic shapes. Because it's quite a analog sound. We only want basic wave tables. So we're gonna go for square wave. Lower down three octaves because we're playing it quite high. At the sixth. Then shape after one. But almost no sustain. Okay, a little bit shorter and add some release. It's like a mono to avoid overlapping notes and add and we're gonna add quite some unisons to it. Slowly decrease the detune and select after B. We're gonna use basic shapes as well. I'm gonna go for the triangle with five unisons and the A same to it. So we're gonna shape the sound a little bit more. Same for oscillator A, we're gonna FM it. So it's like FM from B. So right now it sounds quite bad, so we're gonna add a filter. The cutoff around here, and flow one to it. Some very fat nerve, rest nerve. And then we're gonna add some effects. So first we're gonna store it with a soft clipper. We're quite some drive. Some delay. The ping pong. Only for the high end of the sound. We're gonna look at the sound first. It's gonna be at the end of the chain, but it will make it sound a bit better. So we've got the shape as to be a bit more. Run at seven unisons to it. And lower down to octaves. Then we're gonna compress the sound a little bit more. We're not gonna use the OST, only the compressor. And then some reverb to finish it off. The low cut. And we're gonna shape the sound a bit more. With an envelope shade, like this. So that's it for leads, so now we're gonna make the bass line. So the bass line sounds like this. First we're gonna select any preset. We're gonna go for basic shapes as well. We're gonna go for a high square. Two octaves down. And we're gonna filter it. We're gonna add a low 18 to it. Cut off around here. Some dry fatness. And we're gonna route envelope one to it. So around halfway. Then we're gonna shape the envelope, just lower down the sustain a little bit. Add some more release. Add some mono legato function to it. To add some more slide to it. So we're already getting close to it. But shape it a bit more in effects. Just to make it a bit more fuller. First on dimension. Now we're gonna add some OTT to it. For the gain, quite high. Add some distortion. We're gonna use the dial tool to really thicken up the sound a bit more. We're gonna use, we're gonna select a post filter to around here and put the drive quite high. And then, and then to finish it off, we're gonna add a phaser to it. The frequency just around here and it makes it a little bit down and that's for the baseline so all together the sounds will sound like this and that's it for the martin e King style drop so if you like the video please leave a like let's see more at the subscribe button and i see you all in the next videos